such a, a, a great long time together. She's just... Uh, Both the President-elect and I believe that we have to restore Congress's traditional role as a partner in our foreign policy making. Um, in recent years, across administrations of both parties, Congress's voice in foreign policy has been diluted and diminished. That doesn't make the executive branch stronger. It makes our country weaker. The Iranian regime cannot separate itself from its revolutionary ideology. President-elect Biden believes, and I share his conviction, that no foreign policy can be sustained without the informed consent of the American people. You are the representatives of the American people. You provide that advice and consent. And COVID-19. And you will need to recenter our foreign policy around the core American values. We'll engage the world not as it was, but as it is. A world of rising nationalism, receding democracy, growing rivalry from China and Russia and other authoritarian states, mounting threats to a stable and open international system, and a technological revolution that is reshaping every aspect of our lives, especially in cyberspace. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me, let me first of all start off by saying... I believe we can and we will overcome the COVID crisis, the greatest shared challenge since World War II. We can outcompete China and remind the world that a government of the people, for the people, can deliver for its people. We can take on the existential threat posed by climate change. We can revitalize our core alliances, force multipliers of our influence around the world. Together, we are far better positioned to counter threats from Russia, Iran, North Korea, and to stand up for democracy and human rights. If confirmed, uh, three priorities would guide my time as Secretary of State. Uh, first, I will work with you to reinvigorate the Department of State, investing in its greatest asset, the foreign service officers, the civil servants, the locally employed staff who animate American diplomacy. Uh, armed services, just about everybody, uh, in a comprehensive national... I'm committed to advancing our security and prosperity by building a diplomatic core that fully represents America in all its talent and in all its diversity. Department, um, I had some opportunity to get briefed on a few issues during this, this uh, transition.